Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, back again with another video for you guys. Um, today is going to be the Olight uh, S1R Baton 2. Um, I already have one of these guys, but um, they had like a new color pop up on Amazon, and I had to get on it. It was a good deal. Um, originally, I had this black one here. It's also the same model, the S1R Baton 2 Olight. Uh, yeah, I got this guy on Amazon for like. 70 bucks I think and then this guy jumped up recently and it was on sale for limited edition also might I add uh, limited edition color um, it came up for like $45 or something like that so I was like you know what might as well just get it but uh, anyways I'll be opening it up and uh, we'll be taking a peek at it okay guys um, I have the black one here just to compare models so I got this guy through um, Amazon and then um, I also bought my girlfriend one too. I'll probably eventually, I'll probably end up opening it too, but um, yeah, we'll see. Or maybe she'll open it and then, yeah, I don't want to damage the box. I like keeping these guys kind of new. Anyways, I already ripped it, but yeah. Pull out. Read me. Upside down. Nothing in the box. Man, this orange is pretty awesome. Looks uh, similar to the box. A little shinier, I guess. And let's see what it comes with, guys. We should already know this already. It comes with a little lanyard with a little buckle release, I guess. Um, it comes with a pouch. I think the black one came with one, too. And this one came with a uh, Olight um, battery case. I think my last one came with two of them. So, um, this one's from my last one. I got, like, screws in here for some other parts for my knife. And uh, my other one I use for storage is, uh, my new beads. But, yeah, I think that one came with two last time. Unless this is from somewhere else. But anyways, um, yeah. So, this is a magnet that's for the end here. And then that's how you charge it. And it's pretty awesome because you just plug it to a computer or something. And the moment it touches, uh... A power source this part lights up so it'll be like I think red when it's not ready yet and then once green it's ready to shoot light but um, it's dead now no light obviously but um yeah this is how the black one's gonna look let me shut it off for you guys the light in here just so you can take a peek so it's a couple functions I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on here so um the first click is just um I forget how much lumens the first click is supposed to be, but it's freaking bright, okay, guys? And the second click is 1,000 lumens, so um, here's the first click for you. First click is supposed to be um, between, I think, 60 to 300 lumens or something like that, according to the specs here, whatever it says. So when you click it twice, when you're on the first click, it'll get brighter. Uh, you can't see that because the, the camera adjusts the light, but it's super bright right now. You click it once, it turns off. Click it again once, it turns back on. Twice again for the higher function. Or three times if you want strobe. And then again, just one click to turn it off. And then one click again to turn it back on. Off. And there are some functions on this guy. Um, you see how this lights up orange right here? Um, they do have some functions if you take a read at the baton um, manual because uh, most of uh, like most of us when we get our stuff we normally don't read our manuals but um, take a read at it guys because there's memory functions in these guys and uh, they ha and then you can take a look at the light too because it'll tell you like if you click it it'll hold it up for a certain amount of time it'll light up green so it's set to your function so let's just say right now when I turn it on it's at the 60 lumen or 300 lumen and I want my first click to always be a thousand lumens so you can set it for like a memory mode or you want your first click to be strobe just because you're always ready to use strobe you know but yeah um, this is a SR2 uh, it's pretty awesome um, you know I, I have both of them so that's why I'm saying they're awesome but uh, I really dig in the pocket clip guys um, it goes both ways so if you had pants you can either slide it through here or if you want it looking up you can slide it through up too um, it's pretty awesome because keys stick to this guy too. I don't have any handy right now, but whatever's magnetic, it'll stick to it. So it's kind of cool. I mean, yeah, you can still lose your stuff, but 
it's a pretty strong magnet, you know? So, I don't know if this will stick. No, it's a, a positive and a negative. It won't stick. There you go. It's strong enough to hold, like, another flashlight to it. You see that, guys? So, yeah. Um, well, stay tuned. I'm just going to pause this and then um, try to charge it up a little bit and see if light comes out of it. Okay? One sec, guys. So, guys. Finally. I uh, plugged this in for, like, ten minutes charging. I was like, why isn't it turning on? Then I realized that what you're supposed to do when you get these guys is um, take it out, open it up. And what's going to happen is there is a yellow seal. I don't know why I forgot about that, but I did. So you take that out. Then this part goes back on, obviously. You'll probably change colors a little bit if you wanted to. And then you hit the power button, and hopefully this guy lights up. There you go. Two function. There go the brighter function. One, two, three. There you go. Off. One, two. One, two. Off. On. One, two. Off. One, two. It comes to the bright, brighter setting when you double click it. And yeah, that's that's how you have it, guys. Um, they're pretty awesome. Uh, they do run a little hot when you do touch it. Um, it's barely been on for a long time. I, I feel like it's kind of warm right now. But yeah, there you have it, guys. Um, do a little quick measurement for you guys. Uh, two and a half. Obviously, the other one's going to be two and a half also. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the color in case anybody out there was interested in getting it. Um, you know, I love this one so much. I end up getting this one too. And for the longest time, I'm like a Surefire guy. You know, I'm, I still love my Surefires. Uh, I have a couple here. I think I have like a G2 next to my bed, just because um, I like to have the uh, the click. I don't. I, this I'm pressing hard, and this doesn't click on. I like that because I like to like. Uh, when I'm in the dark or something like that, I can scan my room by just clicking once if there's an intruder. And what you can do is um, basically just tap it, see everything in your room, and just move around again, you know? Because intruders in your property, they're not going to know the layout of your land. So if you got your lights off, just one click, you see everything, turn it back off, walk around with your firearm, clear, click again. But what I like about this guy, this is a uh, Lumamax. I got this guy through uh, online super long time ago. I don't even remember when. And this was my first one the E2D uh, Executive Defender. Uh, so this guy is actually um, out of batteries. And it's not an LED, so it's not very bright. I think originally when these guys came out, they were like 100 or 200 lumens or something like that, and that was considered bright. But yeah, what I like about this guy is uh, it's a focused beam. That's a light one, and then you can press harder for a um, stronger light. And it's a focused beam, so if you attach it to a rifle or something or anything like that, it doesn't beam around the entire house or rooms it's just one spot that's lit up compared to this guy you know you, you, you press it once and this whole area lights up which some people like but uh for different things you know i would like a focus beam just to contrary one area and not bright you know blind everything else around me but yeah uh that that's just some lights i have here so you guys can take a look at and um the color wise i guess so this is like a gunmetal this is like a faded black um, the Olight Black and uh, the Limited Edition Orange, which I'm liking really a lot so far. Uh, I'm probably going to eventually getting another one of these guys. And um, so I got this one a while ago, and I guess this one, that's the serial number. The John 12154467. And then this one, they, I guess they changed it up now because now it shows um, a serial number, like SN instead of a, a letter J there. So that's, uh, yeah, Sam Nora 11517. That's pretty cool. Good to know they've uh, been up in their game a little bit. But yeah, this guy's awesome, guys. Um, and I do have another one coming. It's going to be this guy. I actually bought this guy from my girlfriend. Um, it's the Olight. Um, I think that's I. I R I1 R2. Yeah, so this guy's through Amazon. It was like 15 bucks, but I think they have a, a deal on their site right now for Olight themselves, and um, you can purchase this 
or one of these for like X amount of percentage off and it comes with one of these free. I think it's only for a limited time. But um, yeah, I can't wait to open this guy for my girlfriend or have her open it and take a look. It's 150 lumens and um, I think it was like 15 bucks if you just buy this uh, without the charger. And then if you buy it with the uh, the charging cable, charger, not charger, charging cable, excuse me. If you buy it with the charging cable, it's like extra two bucks. And I think you need to have their charging cable because from the looks of it, that's what goes into the back of the, uh, the light, I guess. And it's magnetic. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, stay tuned, guys. Uh, this will come up soon, okay? Uh, again, if you like my stuff, uh, I'll probably eventually have one of these photos up there on my Instagram. It's going to be M-R-I-I Toys. Again, M-R-I-I Toys. And um, yeah, give me a like and subscribe if you like this. Sorry this video is so quick and sloppy. So stay tuned, guys. See you later.